Are we on your swear? What's up, guys? You're the crane here. Today, I'm going to be doing my spoiler free movie review of the 20 of the most recent 2021 MCU movie that I just saw earlier today, which is Black Widow. So, after like waiting like a year and a half for this movie to come out. After it was delayed, and then delayed again, we finally got to... Oh, and guess what? It was actually delayed again, because it was actually supposed to come out this May. But, they delayed it by two months, but, you know, we we got to see it eventually. Oh, I was actually supposed to go see it like a day early last night. That was the original plan, because you know how like, you know, like there's like a preview night or whatever, like... So, what a lot of movies will do before, like, uh, before their official release date, if they're, like, big blockbusters, is, like, you know, the night before, like, you know, the official day it's out, like, they'll play the movie just to make more money, and that's what I was originally gonna do, but then, like, you know, we had a tropical storm where I come over where I live, so I, I couldn't do that. Luckily, I hadn't pre-ordered my tickets yet, so I ended up having to, um, buy my tickets for today, for today's, uh, showing of the movie Black Widow instead, uh, which isn't bad at all, isn't bad at all, I mean, I would have rather see have seen it a day earlier, um, but, um, there's nothing absolute. There's absolutely nothing wrong with seeing the movie on the official day it comes out. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty awesome. That's actually a pretty awesome day to see it. And I'm I'm lucky to have actually seen it and to have actually gotten a ticket. Um. And speaking of the of the ticket, I actually still have it. Uh yeah. So this is my ticket to Black Widow. That I um uh, to go see Black Widow and that I saved and I'll put it with my other tickets movie tickets that I've saved most of the movie tickets that I've saved have been the Marvel movie tickets um anyway um so, sorry about that on to uh, on to the movie so uh, this movie is a Black Widow prequel that takes place after Civil War, <clears throat> but uh, before uh, Avengers Infinity War, if you know what I mean, or like uh, a couple other Marvel movies, and um, this uh, this movie stars Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. And, um, in this movie, it, this movie is basically kind of like a part Black Widow origin story and part just normal movie with Black Widow in it, normal Black Widow story. Um, you know, it's got a lot of, like, you know, Black Widow's origins in it, like, you know, the opening, the first 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes are, like, completely origin story related. Uh, we see her with her fake family. Uh, which actually play like you know a a big role in this film. They're major characters in this film, and um, we uh we get to see her a lot with this fake family that she actually kind of considers a real family, for the most part, and they're all great. They all have great chemistry with each other. Especially with Black Widow and her sister, they have great chemistry. Um, and so basically in this movie, um, Black Widow basically thinks that, like, she, she finds out that this dude, I can't remember, Draco something, whatever, I can't remember his full name, but like, I know his last name was like, last name and first name was Draco, they just always call him Draco. That she, she finds out this dude that she, this really bad dude that she supposedly like you know had assassinated 
back when she was like a, a total assassin and like not an Avenger, like a long time ago, isn't actually dead. Her sister lets her lets her know of that, and so she's like, "Oh, dang it! Now I gotta hunt him down and uh, bring him to justice." And she also realizes that he's planning something really bad. And um, there's also like this new villain that's kind of connected to him, who's Taskmaster. Nobody really knows who Taskmaster, not Masker, Master is. And um, his or her identity, or her, his, however you want to say it, is revealed in this movie. It's not like we go the whole movie without knowing who Tas who Taskmaster is. It's revealed um, near the end of the movie. And I'm not going to tell you guys who it is, because that would be a spoiler, and this is a spoiler for your review. But I will tell you that their, their identity does, like, is relevant to this story. Like, it does tie in with the story. And it's a really neat plot twist. Um, it's a really great plot twist. I... I, uh, I, uh, kind of figured it out a little bit. Like, 30 seconds before it was revealed, I was just like, Oh, well, wait a minute. I think I know what's gonna happen, but there's nothing wrong with that. This movie isn't predictable at all. Um, it's unpredictable in a good way. It's just that I... You know, I... I figured it out, which, I just, I just figured it out, like, I just put some, get, put together, put together some context clues that I had gathered throughout the movie, and then just figured it out, like, but, the thing is, I, I, I literally, like, figured, not literally, like, I legit only figured it out, like, 30 seconds before it was revealed, when, like, he was about to, when, like, uh, Draco was about to, like, you know, basically reveal who this person really was. I was just like, wait a minute, I think I know who that is. Anyway, um, but there's nothing wrong with that. I just, you know, I just have a really good eye for picking up context clues. And, um, I, I, I love the big twist. It was pretty good and it worked very well with the story. And I thought that this was a perfect movie. Um, um, is it like in my top five best MCU movies? No. But it's not in my bottom five either. Um, it's a perfect movie. And it's great. Just like... Just like... Uh, it, just like the majority of the Marvel movies. Just like the majority of Marvel movies. Um, it's not like as, as perfect as like Infinity War or Endgame. And just to be honest, like, you know, this is just kind of like a side story... Like, the, the, like, you know, the threat in this movie isn't, like, you know, like, r related to, like, world domination or anything. And the villain, the villain of this movie, like, excluding Taskmaster, not Masker, Master. Like, if we're talking about this Draco dude, he's, like, more of, like, a James Bondy type villain. Which is why, when I said Bondy, I meant, like, Bond-ish. Like, I'm referring to James Bond. Um, he's more of, like, a James Bond villain than he is, like, you know, like, a super villain, like, Thanos or something, or an Infinity Gauntlet or something. He's more like, he's more of, like, a, uh, evil mastermind, like, James Bond villain, and, which is, that's part of why there are, like, you know, a few references to, like, you know, James Bond in this movie. It's kind of an inside joke. Um, so, yeah. But he was a perfect villain. He was a great villain. Um... He might be one of technically the weaker MCU villains, but he was still a perfect villain. Um, and um, this movie had a lot of perfect action that was really thrilling. Uh, I thought a lot of the humor was perfect and great and really worked well. And a lot of the family drama and dialogue in, in here really worked well. And um, the story really worked well. And I found this movie incredibly entertaining. Um, not even my hunger, and, um, the, uh, how, how cold the theater I was watching the movie in could distract me from, you know, this movie. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't let it. Um, it was like almost an icebox in the theater. 
like it was like an ice box in there like it was it was so cold like the theater i went and saw this movie at like like i saw it in like the second you know like second room or whatever i, I forgot what they call them and call those like the second cinema in there or whatever it was like and it was like an ice box in there it's like it was so cold i was just like i should have brought a blanket because it was really cold it wasn't like you know like you know so cold that where i was like shivering the whole time but it was pretty cold it was cold enough where you know it was getting like annoying but you know that and you know i hadn't e eaten anything the whole day or you know had anything to drink the whole day because i i really didn't want to have to like use the bathroom during this movie because i hate when you just you're just watching a movie in the theaters and you know you know how you can't just pause the movie and then you just have to use the bathroom and then you're just like like in the middle of the movie or something and then you're just like dang it now i have to just suck it up and hold it till the movie's over and this was a two, two hour and 14 minutes so i was just like i'm not doing that so you know i didn't i didn't really eat or drink anything before i saw this movie and then like immediately after i was just like i'm stopping for fast food and i just went and got some mcdonald's on the way home and just dug into it and ate it i was, I was so hungry uh and uh yeah i got me a soda too so yeah that satisfied my thirst anyway uh, not even that could distract me from this movie i wouldn't let it this movie was just perfect awesome it was fantastic it's a neat little orange it's a neat little origin slash uh just uh character developing solo story for black widow um that doesn't have like you know this movie doesn't have like a very like a drastic effect on the mcu but it's like you know it's its own little stu it's like it's in the MCU, but what I'm saying is it's not it doesn't have like the effect of like an Avengers on the MCU that like an Avengers movie would, like, you know, something that would affect all the films to come. But who cares, you know? A lot of MCU movies are like that. And just to be honest, Black Widow should have gotten a movie year earlier a movie earlier than when she finally got one in my opinion. And um, I'm glad she finally got one. And I really enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm going to give this movie a 100% out of 100%, which is the equivalent of an A+. By the way, this is one of my favorite films of all year, and yes, this definitely is in my top five favorite films of all year. F favorite films of the year so far. Um, and I'm going to give this movie a 100% out of 100%, which is the equivalent... Uh, I think I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Which is the equivalent of an A+. Like, and s like subscribe, turn the notification squad, I will return.